Hi, Chef Nicole Beck here on CT Bites. Summer is almost upon us and I've got some wonderful recipes to show you today. Um, you know, when the weather gets warm, I immediately fire the grill up. And one of my favorite things to grill because they're delicious and so quick are shrimp. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a delicious tandoori spiced grilled shrimp, which is so amazing. And then while those cook up, we're gonna do a really delicious um, Indian spiced yogurt. So this is so easy. We just have some um, peeled, cleaned, and deveined uncooked shrimp. Remember to buy uncooked shrimp, otherwise you're gonna cook a cooked shrimp and it's gonna look like a rubber ball. So we're gonna do a little bit of kosher salt here. And then we've got some um, red tandoori spice, which you can get anywhere. I think I got this at Whole Foods. Put some of that and the color is just so beautiful and the flavor is fantastic and then for a little extra flavor we're going to add in some um, smoked sweet paprika and again going with the red theme and then just a little bit of olive oil now these can marinate for as little as five minutes and for as long as overnight if you like and then we're going to zest the lime now the nice thing if you really want to get flavor from any kind of citrus use the zest versus the juice the juice also makes it more liquidy and the zest is really where the essence uh, the essential oil and the flavor is. So we're going to zest that up. Oh, it looks beautiful. And again, you can skewer these, you cannot skewer these, it's entirely up to you. These are nice big shrimp, so we're not going to skewer them. Get every little bit of zest there. And then literally just with your hands, just rub these around like this. And honestly, you can do this while your grill heats up. And just let those sit for at least five minutes, let the flavor soak in. And then while the grill heats, we're gonna put together this delicious um, Indian spiced yogurt dip that I'm just crazy for. I'm eating it like with everything right now. So we're gonna start with a plain Greek yogurt, which is a nice base, it's nice and thick. Pop some of that in. And then these are three things I just picked up from Patel, which is a new um, Indian grocery store in Norwalk, and we'll put a link up to that. This is um, a coriander or cilantro chutney. This is my favorite thing. It's a, a hot pickled lime, and this is a mint chutney, and the flavors together are to die for. So, we're gonna put about a teaspoon of each of these in here. And the pickled lime just has the most amazing, amazing flavor. And I will tell you, if you go in there, if you don't know what you're looking for, the people are really, really helpful. They're help, happy to help you find whatever you need. And then this stuff, oh, smells so good. There are actually pieces of lime rind in here, which is so nice, been pickled. It's got a little kick. It's not crazy, crazy spicy, but it definitely has a little heat to it. And then literally just stir this around. And this is great on everything. This is delicious on fish, on chicken, um, really kind of any kind of protein. And this can just sit in the refrigerator and it looks like our grill is ready to go. So I'm gonna go pop these on the grill. They take only about 30 seconds per side. The trick when you're grilling is make sure your grill gets really, really hot and just turn things once. And we're gonna head out to the grill now. So these tandoori shrimp are done. They literally take about 30 seconds per side. Again, remember, make sure your grill is hot, hot, hot. Oh, yum, they smell incredible. I mean, look at this, the most beautiful hors d'oeuvre or main dish. Bring this to a picnic, bring it to a potluck, a barbecue, have friends over, crack open a few beers. This really, really does not get much easier. So we're gonna bring these inside and serve them up with our delicious Indian spiced yogurt. These beautiful grilled tandoori shrimp are done. They literally took about a minute and a half. And this wonderful Indian spice yogurt with the mint and the pickled lime and the cilantro chutney came together. We're just gonna put some of this into a bowl and serve it up right next to these shrimp. If you want, you could serve it up next to this beautiful farro salad, which is delicious with fresh fennel and mint, or just serve it up like this. Could not get much easier. Happy cooking from CT Bites.